that I would share with you is that we think of financial education as being something that can be taught and something that is disciplined in the framework. But when you do not have the financial education within the public schools and that problem has existed for so long, you have to then shift your mind to say that financial education isn't something that can be taught. It's more of an experience, right? That we learn how we make our financial decisions and what we know about product based on what we use and how we use it and what we've gone through. And so to that point, when it comes to financial education in 2019, in terms of looking at financial education as a module to be taught, we should look at it in more of a transactional model where we have to create guidance and advice at very specific periods of time when you are more inclined to make a bad decision, like when you're in high school preparing for college, like when you're about to graduate from college and take on your first job, or when you take on your first job and you're trying to figure out your budgeting. Um, having a very transactional and very specific intervention at these points can significantly enhance a lot of the work that we're doing in financial education overall. In Massachusetts is a great place that has done a lot of good research and has a lot of good data elements on the use of this transactional method of financial education. And so it's something that I would say we do extremely well. And even applying some of these, uh, some of these takeaways as we did today, simply having conversations, if we were to go back to like that time frame. If you could simply have a conversation in high school and make sure that you can follow up with that conversation in, ter in terms of college, that information is extremely helpful. And that's been something that has been extremely uh, well received at forums like this, both in Massachusetts and nationally.